<laughs> Hello. Hi there. Welcome to Material Ghetto Podcast with me, Amanda Dwyer, and me, Susan Riddle. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. People are going to think we rehearsed it. I know. We didn't. We never. just put off the cuff. It's just happened. I know, man. We're comedy ge- geniuses. <laughs> Is it geniuses or genii? 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 <laughs> Don't ask me anything about being. I mean, Genius. I think we've just shown ourselves up for the morons that we are there. Comedy. Aye. Comedy morons. Idiots. Hiya, everyone. My lips are really dry, actually. You know, last week I never put any makeup on for the pod. I had on the face mask and then the took it off glasses. and put my big specs on. Aye. Somebody says to me, you should have gone to Specsavers, and I was where I did. That's where I got them for. Who said that? Just somebody on Instagram. <laughs> did you? Yeah. <laughs> pure getting bullied <laughs> That was like a pure primary school bully Aye, you should have got a spec savers Aye I was uh, actually a guy that's been a wee bit like inappropriate He uh, probably listens to this podcast I actually need to go to spec savers uh, And I'm going to end up blocking him soon if, he d- if you don't stop Do you hear that? Right, uh, if you don't stop Why uh, your neck in? I actually will the specs to repel you <laughs> Okay <laughs> And it's working It is working Okay, uh, what's on the agenda today? <laughs> we don't have an agenda, obviously. We do. We have. It, we really. We we. Pl- I know it looks like we're winging it, but we pure plan out everything we're going to say on this podcast. Oh, every TV. single word, day. So I'm mad. I'll let get you the script. The scripts are in there. You can take the reins. Right. <laughs> well, <laughs> I want to talk about my. Oh, new- do you know what? Sorry. <laughs> no, go ahead. I'm going to say how how's fringe life? How's 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 your fringe? I like it. I'm still liking it. Getting a lot of compliments on it. It's a big adjustment. Getting a fringe. Aye. But I was ready to commit. I needed just... Because Taylor got a fringe. I needed something to just... It's not because Taylor had a fringe. Amanda. I get fringes on and off my whole life. Well, I've known you for what? How many years have we known each other now? Two. Is that three? (laughs) Three. Is it three years? Three years, I think. Right, well... She's not had a fringe the whole Aye, time. Because I was doing the curly. This is my first curly fringe. But when I had straight hair, I would always get. I would often get a fringe. Uh, but it's just a bit of coincidence that Taylor's got a wee curly fringe, and then <sighs> and no, then. it's no coincidence at all. <laughs> <laughs> I said to my pal, do you think I could get away with this?" And she said, "I." That was a bold move. You just fucking went right <sighs> in there. Just go for it, guys. Go for it. it. Could have been a Brad Mondo. I've done it myself And I'm not saying it's brilliant But it's alright I think it's Couldn't get any better I think it's really cute People like it Sorry I've got my Crocs on your couch Oh it's alright Are they dirty? No no really no I I hardly ever wear them outside Mostly in the house Stick them up then This couch is bogging It's had two dogs running about Look at them They're lilac I got an eyeliner to match (laughs) My Crocs (laughs) I can't even see the eyeliner It's just at the side of my eyes it's really subtle lilac. You should go right up to the camera and let the people see. <laughs> see <it? laughs> this is turned into a makeup tutorial. That's why. Oh, what are they called? Giblets or something? Is that, that what they're called? called? Giblets? Or giblets or gibbets or gibbets? Gib- I can't remember. I know it's something begins with a G, but I can't remember because I was talking to one of my piano students, Moz, about them yesterday and she was like, what are they? And I was like, I was like, the wee boy, what are they? And he was like, I don't know. That was pure. Right. I only know because my nephew. My pal Rachel them. took me around the barras last Saturday, and <laughs> uh, I got them. Got them. If it, if you don't know what that is, it's like the wee, uh, the, the wee things. things that you stick in your crocs. I've got a wee tailor. I've got a wee. I thought it was a Pokemon, but it's no. A wee hot air balloon. Why hot air balloons? That get any meaning? Behind no, I just it? thought it was cute. Have I've you ever a, been in a hot air balloon? No, and I would never. I've got a story about hot air. Have air you air been in one? No, I have a fuck. What's your story? <laughs> <laughs> I went for an interview, right, to be a beauty therapist in the Hilton in Bells Hill, right, which I'm no bad for. It's a long story. Oh my God, what? <laughs> it's a long story. Um, i sneeze soon. I did get the job in the end, but... Did? I. So what happened was the guy that, the guy that interviewed me... This is actually pure sad. Uh, the guy that interviewed <laughs> me... <laughs> but funny, I know. Right. The guy that interviewed me... During that, I didn't think I was getting the job because it was, I went, I wasn't very good at doing interviews. That's probably why I just became a comedian. Aye, interviews are, 
<laughs> but are just unnecessary, I think. They are. I mean, what do you, the what does anybody gain for a fucking interview? Like, I think the last interview I'd done would have been to get into uni to do my masters. That was fine, actually. It was over right. Zoom, so I, that was really stressed me out. I was pure in the toilet, like, with an upset stomach before it started and all that. And then I was like, what was I even worried about? What, it's pure fine. Have you ever had, like, a really bad interview? Don't think so. I, I actually, <laughs> when I went to study music and I auditioned for this music course, Aye. and they made me play on this piano that was missing a key, didn't have a music stand, so I sat the music on my lap and I pure fucked it up, and the guy was just like... That's their fault for I their know, shoddy it really, equipment. It really was their fault. But I came away from it being like... Oh, it's my fault. Kill yourself. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> then the next one, they had an actual piano where I could sit my book on and... Uh, it was fine. It was good. They went anywhere. So I can't. Eat. What's their fault? I'm going to have a right good think about this because there must be more interviews that I've fucked up. But this particular one, I went. I meant to say I'm easy going. I always remember this. Like, like what's your best quality? Of like, oh, I'm easy going. But I never said easy going. I was pure. I'm easy. Um, um. <laughs> I'm easy. You can pump me if you want. <laughs> exactly. I always remember that. And then I was pure. Oh, fuck. Anyway, the guy that interviewed me, he was like, yes. Didn't hear for a few weeks and I was like, I've definitely not got this job, right? But I just, I got in contact with him and I was like, listen, going to let me know uh, what's happening, whether I've got the job or not. And they were like, oh no, uh, the guy that interviewed you, died. the guy that interviewed you died in a hot air balloon accident. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's no funny. But it was also like... <laughs> That's my worst nightmare. The most bizarre. I mean, as in, no, the hot what air balloon. to the hot air balloon? Just like a comedy death. I know I'm a comedian, but I don't want a comedy know. death. What happened to him? Well, the hot air balloon was... Right, what happened was the hot air balloon was going up or something, right? No. And he grabbed on to the... Or did he... F- right, I can't even remember exactly, but it's either the hot air balloon was going up and he grabbed onto the ropes... Right. Or what I think happened was... What? Uh, he wasn't in the basket? He must have been in the basket, right? Right. Uh, and he fell out the hot air balloon and then held onto the ropes instead of just... if it, All I know is, if he'd let go of the ropes before it, like, pure, like, went away up, he would have been all right. But out of panic, he grabbed onto the rope and why then it just would, kept going up and up. Why would they know whoever's driving the hot air balloon or whatever, flying it, bring it down? <laughs> Flying not. I mean, I suppose it is, but just I, because I don't know how a hot air balloon works, Amanda. Surely they can lower it down if somebody's hanging off the side. Why do they not have like a procedure in place? Well, I don't know, but I do know that this guy, if so he'd he let go at a certain point, he'd have been fine. But out of sheer terror, he clung onto the ropes, and what, so subsequently, he could have kind of drooped off. It wasn't too high. Aye, but like, it got too high. You maybe got a broken leg, and then no, I think he just he just grabbed on it thinking maybe he could get back in the basket or something and then he couldn't eh? and then obviously like you can only hold on for so long and then he just fell off and died oh my god but i got the job so <laughs> <laughs> he must have wrote in my notes oh she's easy easy and they've been like easy it was actually the worst job in my life i got bullied did you after my boss i oh my god yeah. I got bullied off of my boss once. I know, it's horrible, isn't it, when you get bullied off she your boss? She was a fucking cow. She bullied me and my pal Natalia. With, with the sort of things that she do? So we were like, probably the best waitresses in the restaurant. Mm-hmm. Where was it? Are you allowed to say? I met Paulton. Her name was Sarah. She was a fucking cow. I don't care if she sees us. Aye. Um, and she came in as the assistant manager. And that was a job that... Uh, Natalia had turned down mm-hmm. um, and she just would do de- like she thought she was bullying us but it was actually brilliant like she would do de- things like oh, if you just do the cutlery and then you can leave mm-hmm. at like 10 o'clock instead of one but like she did it as like your punishment and we were like bye <laughs> okay bye she was just pure snide and like horrible is she's just in the like is I she's just like F- I don't like them no no I had my my boss just took a dislike into me for some reason. I don't know why, because I think I'm quite a nice person. Yeah. And uh, like we go into like a... Because he was a dick and I think I always uh, just kind of called him out. 
Aye. And then he didn't like that. Uh, and then he gave me a disciplinary because we used to get these mystery customers. But I was a beauty therapist and we used to get these mystery customers in. <coughs> and you were like, like, my boss if you're dick. <laughs> no, like, <laughs> I go, I think I scored like 95% or something. And he was like, no, you should have got 100%, right? I know, like ridiculous. And one of the complaints when it was um, the treatment was too short, right? But that was their fault because they used to, like, say you're getting a back neck shoulder massage and it lasts for half an hour. In that half an hour time, you've got to get them in the room and get them out the room, Aye. right? So there's obviously you, you need to, like, take maybe five minutes away for that treatment Aye. rather than them blocking off my time in the booking minutes, aye. Aye. so I was like well that's not my fault no that so we get into a big like hang and then I joined a union <laughs> yes and got like a union guy in if you're frightening the shit out of him and then he was still being a pure bastard to me and we, we had these meetings where it was like you have to get like a neutral person in aye right? media. but the, the neutral person who would make a decision on who was right and who was wrong right mm-hmm and it was his, it was somebody else for another Hilton, but it was his pal. Oh. I know. So he decided that I was in the rang. That's bullshit. I know. And I got a warning and all that. So anyway, I, would just, <laughs> then I, went, I was pure greeting and all that because he was pure terrorising me. Right? And <coughs> I was only 19. And I was pure getting him greeting every day and all that. And my dad went up and <laughs> <laughs> got him outside with, <laughs> with Annie's pals and was pure... Like, I'm going to lay the fuck at you if you don't I leave my leave daughter alone. alone. Um, but he could, this guy Douglas, his name was, he couldn't approve anything because my dad was smart enough to like, no do it in Aye. front of him. Day. And then um, everybody the next day, <laughs> when I went in, I was raging with my dad but because I was like, I'm fucking going through a union trying to do this all Aye, legit. Right, and and you're going up to go <laughs> and say, you're going to like... <laughs> <laughs> punch fuck at him right and went up the next day and uh, everybody was just pure because everybody hated this guy Douglas anyway right? everybody was pure high-fiving me like oh my god like your dad's a legend and all that <laughs> he's like he's just seen Douglas when he came back and he was pure yeah. white as a sheep pure shaking and all that yes I so then my dad was a member of this gym as well so my dad get barred and then <laughs> and then I go made redundant Oh, so they made my job redundant so they could get rid of me, and then they opened it back up and got like another. They just like they did all the loopholes. I mean, why would like a grown man who was probably like forty or something spend this much his time terrorizing a wee lassie? I was nineteen. I know. I was nineteen, and like he must have went to him at night, plotting against me. Parent, oh, what can I do? To, like make Susan's Aye. life a misery. And you're poor. You're a sad fuck. Guys are weird. I think no, all guys. But right, I think it's just because he didn't like, like it. He was like, he wasn't good at his job, and I think I did like point out a few things, like when he was having a go at us. Ah, you like well, hold aye, on. and he just didn't like it. It was just it was a fucking tit. Everybody hated him, but it was so funny when I went in. Everybody was pure high five. Like your dad pure scared the shit out of him. So that. Was good. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it was so funny. Yeah, I so I hot air balloon, hot air balloon. Um, R.I.P. R.I.P. That guy who thought I was easy. Um, I've also got <laughs> <laughs> what? Other, what other? This one says Swifty. That's a wee Gus Gus for Cinderella. Oh, Gus Gus. Gus Gus. I've got a joke about Gus Gus. Uh, that's his OnlyFans. Why OnlyFans? My pal was like, please buy that one. Oh, no, okay. And I've got nothing against OnlyFans. Is OnlyFans still gone? Aye. You don't really hear of people with like My OnlyFans. My pal David now. does OnlyFans. David, I know him. Oh, I met David, I. David and Chris. David, the the two guys that came in my show. Aye, aye. Right, aye. And he has, he's one of them staying comedy now, they know. Aye, he's part of right. it. Um, right, so he's on OnlyFans? Aye, he's on OnlyFans. What does he... What does he, what's the word, what has he got to offer? What's what his content? He, I, I don't know, I mean, as a woman who's not really into gay men. Aye, but do you know, ask him. I think it's just like photos and that. I don't think it's anything pure, pure. But like, is it, does he do videos? I don't know, I'll ask him. 
I think I'm seeing them in the morning. And then I've got a wee clover that says lucky on it. Great. Great. We really do want to know the, the story no. behind the OnlyFans. Do you want me to text them now and say? No, no. But that's funny, you've got a wee Gus Gus because I love that mouse. He's so cute. Did you ever hear my mice routine? Aye. It was, the, it was the first routine I've I ever done heard that in know. Was it? Aye. First night I met you, you did the mice. Oh, that pure fucking bombed so many times. It was so good. But it also did so. so great so many times. So It would either, like, people would be like, yes, or why sure. is she talking about mice for 10 minutes? I was in Kirkcaldy last night at the Barefoot Comedy. Mm-hmm. And I sp- oh, aye, how did that go? It was great. I loved it. But I skipped it, my... That's a nice wee theatre, isn't it? It's really nice. I it's s- called The King's, isn't it? The King's Theatre. Yeah. I skipped uh, my darkest joke. Okay. I don't know why, I just thought... Oh, You're not going to like this. I'm not going to like this, actually. I actually think I would get away with it, but I panicked and I skipped it. Right. Um, Did the gig go well? It went really well. I really loved it. Oh, that, that was a that good way, decision. They were just pure... I know, actually, I know. They were like pure, I was just looking at them and they were like pure, there was a how, woman in the front row pure screaming or he daft laughing. How far into your routine is your dark joke that you're talking oh, about? Oh, it's like three minutes in. Aye, so you, you're still trying to figure out whether they like you or no. So I thought, right, it's gone well, but I thought I don't want to ruin it. So If I it was s- going really well for three minutes and then you, you did your joke that f- kind of fucked it, you can still come back for that. I know, but I thought I'm just going to skip it um, and then... It, it went really. I really liked it. It's a really nice gig. It's Aye. really really nice. I like that wee theatre. I'd like to do a solo show in there. Aye, I might do. I'm thinking about doing a wee Scottish tour. You should. I I'll you tell were. you why. I'll tell you for why. Right. I'll fucking tell you why. Because <laughs> I just want to see loads of Scottish places. See, I'd never been to Kirkcaldy, and I was pure. I didn't drive. Green. It's nice. It's so a nice, nice beach. It was right at the beach, the theatre, and uh, I was pure, oh, and the drive down, it was pure sunny. I was pure, this is pure nice. I'm pure excited. And they were like, grow up. No, they were like, I'm no, I'm just no. like worried in case I did the tour and then nobody came. How come? <laughs> <laughs> we could do, you could be my support. We could be your support. Aye. We could tour about the girl and then that way it's that funny. That would be amazing. Right, that's it. It's happening. That's it. It's happening. It's happening. Because I really enjoyed doing my show again, my Wonder Woman show at the stand. Aye, it was brilliant. I loved it. I loved doing it. I want to do it again. I don't just want to like... Throw it away. Aye. I want to get another wee out. A wee outing. Aye. A wee innings. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think I'm going to put together a wee Scottish tour. That's the next thing. And right. we've got Material Girl at the Fringe. Yep. Uh, I was looking at our sales for Material Girl. We've, we've, we've sold, sold tickets for tickets. me as well. We've sold tickets for the Fringe. I've got the Fringe uh, Oh, you line. need to link me up to that. I don't know. I'll send you That's it. That's exciting. I know. Well, that's exciting. I know. We're going to sit down after this and plan how, what we're going to do. <sighs> Aye. But Aye, that, else? that was a really nice gig. It was Stuart Murphy who was hosting. Oh my God, I pure had to think who that was. That was Stuart. I saw you, Stu. He's nice, Stu, I like him. He's so nice. Aye. It was so funny, right, at the start. Of the I never knew Stu was like 50 odds. I know. He doesn't look at that. I know. I mean, he could say, I'd say he was in his 40s. Oh, that. He's in his 50s and he's got beautiful hair. <laughs> luscious, luscious locks, a dark hair. Aye, nice, nice man. Beautiful man. Anyway, it was so funny because he was hosting and at the start, me and Graham Stewart went in up the back just to obviously just kind of suss out the room and stuff. He was pure, who's that? It's come in late. <laughs> we were pure. <laughs> obviously couldn't see us and he was pure, right, I'm going to turn my back and he's better come sit down the front and then Jay was just telling me like that's true that's the, that's the other acts and he was pure, <laughs> fuck's sake I'm going to see you <laughs> it was so funny <laughs> pure gear is a ball kind of we were like I know there's nothing worse when you're in an audience as well when somebody tries to talk to you Aye, and you're like no but do you say when taxi drivers ask you what your occupation is do you just you've got Teacher anyway, I'm learning you? support work. Yeah, teacher. Depends if I'm going to a gig and they say where are you going. I say I'm going to work. What are you doing? I've got a gig. Like we like, oh, okay, like, oh, do you know? Uh, and then they'll just start talking about the most famous comedian they know, and you're like, oh, no, I don't know them. I, I was saying to you, I don't know whether to talk about this on the podcast or not. <laughs> 
has anyone ever had to take back an engagement ring? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you need to talk about it. It's so funny. It's no funny. It is. It's come pure on. sad for me. No, come on. It's funny. It's actually really sad for me. No, it's hilarious for you. Right. So I was engaged before lockdown. <laughs> it, I was going to be somebody for four years. And then Amanda, see if you stop sniffing. I'm really stuck. Especially during this story when I broke up with my coke addicted ex. <laughs> Triggered me. <laughs> I had one and all, right? We've all got a coca dex. I know. Me, me and Amanda, we really bonded to that, didn't we? I were like, oh my god, same. I and see. then he would do this, and he would steal all my money. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> we're so, be- did we just become best friends? <laughs> That's how we bonded. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks, losers. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not one yeah. like. I don't want to slag off him to wear an addiction. No, I don't, no. I don't mind it because I know. It's, it's not complicated. That it's, aye, it's not that. It's just... And this guy was a nice person. I don't mind he was. <laughs> I don't mind he was a terrible person, but I don't want to say he was a nice person. Well, I, I was going to marry him. Right. I did marry my number. <laughs> <laughs> um, I married so mine. Mad. See, when you get... Propo- how did he... Pro- in fact, let's get in it all, because we've not had an in-depth my proposal? discussion. I, how did he propose to you? <sighs> it was perfect. Right, hold on a wee minute. So... Uh, your ex quote kid uh, he sorted himself out now can I just say that he's, yes I he's, know he's no and that's not a really nice word to say quote kid no. no. he had a he had a, a problem he had other problems a drug all. problem right, he had a, a a substance abuse problem and there's a lot of shame about it and I think he was very he couldn't admit that by the time he admitted it was a problem it was too late I hated him aye because it does make you act like a fucking asshole I really tried and tried and tried to mm-hmm. be like let me help you. Let's do mm-hmm. this. Let's do that. Oh yes, you just can't unless they. You know what? You know how it is. Unless they really, you so need to let them just hit. How long were you together for? Uh, five years. Five years. And when did he propose to you? He proposed to me on the sixteenth of June, twenty sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a good person with dates. I'm really together. good with dates. So. Like how long? But I mean, is how long we get with each other before he proposed? Three years. Three years. And Four how years. the how did he propose? He came home for work one day. Okay. Right. And I was just like, I had spent the whole day switching bedrooms. Right. So I had switched our bed, our bedroom into the Wayne's bedroom. Right. Right. So, so humping beds and stuff. humping beds, humping furniture, like pure cleaning. You know that way. Like Aye. he came home and I was just like. I looked like Cinderella. No, no Cinderella. <laughs> she, the, I looked like the poor Cinderella. I looked terrible, right? And he comes in and he's like pacing about a bit, and I'm like, "You alright?" He's like, "Aye." And I was like, oh, "Right, okay." And then he was like, "No, I need to ask you something. I need to ask you something." I was pure. What is it? <laughs> and then he just got down on one knee with the wee ring and proposed to me. <gasps> Why did you date Ben? So he was too. He was dead. He was dead. Worried and stressed about it. I never took you for a nice meal. I know. Frank and Ben. I'd have hated that. I liked it. I liked that it. it was just in the house. Like I liked that it. it was just in the house. And it was just us. Aye, but in the house, like put a dine in for two on. Do you know what I mean? I I was literally like, look at the state. I mean, I Aye. had to go and paint my nails and that to take a photo. Of my in ring. the house, like just like make the dinner. And I was like, aye. And that was that. And then it all. Then we got married. Then you, you actually went through with the wedding. Aye, in see, the right, this is what I wanted to ask you. See, when he did you were you aware of his like drug problem when he proposed? Aye, aye. And was he like getting help at this point? Or mm, no, no. I don't think I was aware of how bad it how was. Bad it was. Aye. I think it was very secretive. Obviously, as aye. people with addictions are. And then, so see, when you said I, were you like happy about it, or were you inside going, "Oh fuck"? I was happy. But as it got closer to the wedding, I was like, I don't know, man. I don't know. But you were, so how did you feel on your wedding day? Were you pure? You're pure looking at me like. I know. I think on my wedding day, I was like. We've just got to do this. It's happening. It's, ha- it's happening. No, it was a lovely day. It was like, honestly, it was a lovely, lovely day. So you were day. quite happy getting married. Aye, Aye. I was happy and I was hopeful, but it didn't last, obviously. No. And uh, I was just like, nah. And then obviously mere stuff came out and I was just like, no, come on. How long were you married for? Um, well, legally, years. Aye. Uh, but we got married 
the 30th of November and I asked him to leave on the 15th of March or something, 14th of March. That's no bad. <laughs> so too long. <laughs> <laughs> I never even made it to the altar. Well, lucky you. I know. So my fucking, oh my God. It, like, he was a nice guy and all that, but it just, just had to grow up a wee bit, I think. Aye. Um, so he proposed to me it wasn't even Christmas Day. Oh, better not have been. Boxing Day. It was like the Christmas period. Mm-hmm. No, it was like Christmas Eve or something. I think it was Christmas Eve because we we're still that bit. He was still living in Edinburgh and I was still living in Glasgow, right? Here? So, no, I was staying in Deniston. Um, and he was still living in Edinburgh, but we were going to move in together, right? Uh, and so he... I'm sure it was Christmas Eve so I went to his <laughs> Maz for Christmas Eve because I was like I'll not see you on Christmas Day because I was going to go with my family right. on Christmas Day right uh, but I had a gig that night right on Christmas Eve but so I was like I'll come up to your Maz before my gig and what then year I'll, was this? and then I'll come back this is 2019? like 2019 I because we split up in 2020 okay uh, like right before lockdown thank fuck because we were staying in his studio flat and that would have been terrible. Anyway, um, what were you going to say? Nothing. Right. So I go to his Maz for dinner on Christmas Eve, right? But we have an argument in the motor before we get there because <laughs> uh, I had said to him, the, the two of us were like saving up in that because we're like going to move in together. Well, he wasn't saving up. He was banking all his money on coke, but I didn't know that, right? He was letting you save up. <laughs> Aye. So I was like, let's <laughs> just no day Christmas presents this year. Let's just like, we're both a bit skin. You said that on Christmas Eve? No, no, but this had been before. arranged, right? So like, you're cutting a bit fine. Right, but then, then when it came round and he, he, never, he never got me anything, right? <sighs> what a rat. I know, but I was like, you're the one that said it, Susan. Like, Aye. But I kind of got into an argument. That was kind of my fault. I was just pure. You were like, he was like, you told me not to get you. You did exactly as I asked. I know, and I'm pure. I know, but for fuck's sake, your love for me didn't propel you to the shop to get me a wee bar of soap. Exactly right. right. So we got, we were in this pure big argument before we got to uh, his ma's house, and when I got there, like I was greeting (laughs) in the (laughs) toilet. No, unbeknownst to me, I didn't know he was going to propose. Right. So, uh, he's obviously like a bag of nerves. You're looking like an ungrateful anyway. cow. Aye, Green. and then so his ma's upset and all because she knows he's going to propose to me. <laughs> so it's just horrible. And then She's I need like, to go away. Don't do it. I need to go away and do my gig, right? So I'm like, so we have something to eat, and then it's pure awkward and all that. And then <laughs> I go to my my gig, uh, and I come back and he's pushed, right? Because like the two had them. It's Christmas Eve. They were just sitting having a drink. And he, he was pure push. And then we went up the road and then he proposed to me pure steaming. And I was pure, oh, he's pure, I did get you something. Like I was, but right now this is, <laughs> what did he get you? He gave me his ma's engagement ring, right? His man and dad never even get married. So there was no sentimental. Why do people do that? Because uh, they don't buy a ring, Amanda, because they've spent all their money on drugs. Does it fit you, but? <laughs> No, <laughs> right. So, Just buy a ring that fits. anyway, he's pure pished, right? So it's no romantic at all. He's got his man's old engagement ring, and I'm just pure yes, yes. I've a still thousand got, times I've yes. still got mine. A thousand times <laughs> yes. You make my heart sore. <laughs> no, right. Well, Amanda. Uh, so I obviously we didn't like then a few months later. Like all the pure problems came out. The ring like, was kind of ugly. It, that's no nice, but it wasn't my cup of tea. Aye, I don't like it. I'm just worried in case like his ma's watching this or something. She didn't want it either. I know. Right, so, anyway. <laughs> I'm allowed Do to say I, I, don't, I didn't like it. It's I'll just... tell you what annoyed me. <laughs> it didn't even get it cleaned. Fuck. It didn't me. even get the ring like polished up. Do you know what I mean? I'm not a materialistic person. I'm really no. I bet a big hang like that, you think he'd put a wee bit more aye. thought. Aye. No... I said yes, but in my head, I was like, what are you doing? Aye. I, I really was for that moment. I started having panic attacks and all that after. 
like brand and I've n- I never have. I thought you'd never had a panic attack. No, but like just pure like anxiety aye. attacks. Like, no, like actually no like physical, but like I. Uh-huh. But just like pure overwhelming aye, panic, dread, and aye. concern for and your then, future. <laughs> I but like just try to be like no it's all it's all gonna be fine it's gonna be fine yeah and nobody knew he was struggling with like that was me on my wedding morning oh god well we never made it to the altar the week before I got married I said to Stephen I don't want to get married and what did he say Can't I remember, remember. <laughs> don't get married then <laughs> I remember like pure greeting to him like what, like obviously he had a problem and all that and. <laughs> I always remember pure greeting, like having not a panic attack, but just pure, oh my god, like with a day and all that. And he was just pure sitting, like eating a pizza. It's just like, <laughs> what? <laughs> well, like, that was pure. What oh my god, he's pure. <laughs> Camly eating a pizza, like, oh no, I know, man. What are we going to do? He's like, we're going to get married. Oh my god. You're going to help me fund my habit. I know. I know. We're going to live happily ever <laughs> And then, so anyway, cut to last week, I found my engagement ring. Where was it? It was in a box and like I was clearing out everything. I've still got mine. Yeah, I didn't even, I, when, when it all went to shit, I said to his ma, like, I'll send you the ring back. She's like, I don't want the ring. And then, like, I wasn't getting it to him because he'd already bumped me out of money. Aye. Right, so you're like, oh, he owes me this. Aye, so I kept it, right? And then this week I was like, do you know what? I found it and I was like, I'm going to go up and get this valued. <laughs> Thinking maybe a couple hundred quid I can take Aye. myself in a nice piece spa day or something. Aye. Aye, you can take yourself for a. <laughs> so I took it into Ramston's um, my, in the forge. My pal used to work in there and I was like, should I take this in and get it valued? And she's put I the day that. So I took it and then the woman got her wee hang out, looked at it and was pure. It's pure pff. She's like, 20 quid? <laughs> 20 quid? No, and no, I was pure, what? <laughs> what? 20 quid? Right. No, I, I was like, what do you mean 20 quid? Like, I was like, are they stones like fake or something? Are they no like real stones? Like, and she was mm-hmm. like, no, she actually did say to me, no, they're no, they're real, but we don't pay out for stones. We only pay out for gold. So it was just like a wee band of gold. All right. But I took it to, I took it up the stair in the forge because there's another place and they were like 25 quid. So I didn't know like the gold is worth like 20 quid. Um, but I have to, if I want to find out how much this ring's worth, I need to take it to get valued which costs you about like a hundred quid. Oh no, and then they'll be like 45 quid. I know, but I kind of just want to do it anyway, just Probably to see. Probably knows I know. Let's start a crowdfunder. So <laughs> so we can get a ring valued. But I was like, that is just fucking typical. That is great. Aye. You were pure, guess how much? Nice pair of 40 quid. You were like, seriously? Nice pair. Aye. You were 20. I know, but I mean, it, it was a real stone, so. <sighs> but it was ugly. <laughs> They were like, eh, no, not for me. No bad saying that, I do. What was your ring like? My ring was nice. It was like... Did you actually go out and purchase one for you? You went out and purchased one for Argos. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, imagine just sitting in Argos, like in, on the wee chairs waiting for your engagement ring. <laughs> That's so sad. I know. <laughs> it was a really nice looking ring. It had like a stone in the middle and then a wee stone e- either side, mm-hmm. all white. Like cle- like, cubic zircona. <laughs> oh no, was it not a real diamond? No, it wasn't a real diamond, no way. And it was like white gold. Or sil- no, it was silver. Amanda, you need to take yours in to get valued. No, it'll be like, they'll be like... White gold, white gold. You no, it's silver. No, for it's that? silver, it's silver. I wanted a <laughs> right. silver ring. Amanda. Oh, is it silver? It's silver. Oh, for fuck's Silver's sake. Silver's easier to keep, easier to clean than easier to like... You can't get a silver and get... Even I didn't get a silver engagement. I wanted silver. I didn't want gold or white gold. I know white gold. I like platinum. Silver. What is platinum? I don't know. Anyway, um, platinum gold. It's platinum silver. Platinum. No, you need to get it valued. I'll get mine's valued, and then we'll have a wee takeaway. We'll have an auction. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be able to get like a fish supper or They'll something. They'll to me three quid. <laughs> <laughs> it was like hundred and fifty or something when he bought it. Wasn't it like expensive? Aye. I don't know how much this one was when... 
And that was I remember his ma saying to me, ago. but his ma said to me, like, she went out and bought her an engagement ring. Did she? I, eh. Uh, oh, right, is that why you feel bad? Because she picked that? His ma was dead nice, but I loved his ma. I'm not, I know, but I'm saying, is that why you feel bad? Because she picked that for No, herself? but it was, like, old-fashioned, because she's right. been out and picked it uh, in the time where everybody wanted an engagement ring, like Princess Diana's. Aye. <laughs> I want, I would like an emerald... I would like an emerald and see when he first gave it to me. I thought it was an emerald, but I don't know what it is. It's blue. My mum's is an was an emerald. Um, I love emeralds. I love emeralds. So if anybody wants to propose to me, I'd like an emerald set in silver. Stephen. Stephen would listening. not. Mm-hmm. Stephen doesn't listen to this. Stephen doesn't believe in marriage either. He would never propose to me. He <sighs> doesn't listen to Material Girl. Doesn't believe in marriage. He's honestly, what is he good for? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly everything else, but they're his two biggest downfalls. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like Stephen. No, I believe, I think he's right not to care about marriage. I know, but there's something quite insulting about it, I know, isn't there? What, I'm being like, no, I'm never marrying you. Aye. But he'll never marry anybody, it's no me. I know, but I would just be pure, but I'm so special. But um, I am like, get me a 20 um, quid but ring, but please. But you love me so much, why don't, and he's like, well, why don't we just have a party where we're like, right, we're going to be together forever. That's, no, that's... <laughs> Fuck off! I'm not going to that party. And I'm like, no. He's either getting married. I'm like, why this we... wishy washy? I'm like, why don't we just run away and get married? I go to Gretna. No, I was thinking more like New York or something. Oh no, about me saying I go to Gretna. That's what I was planning on doing. Me, uh, my ex. Well, me and the Wayne star, my ex husband, we got married up in Sky, and it was beautiful. It was beautiful, just like our love. <laughs> <laughs> it looked better than it was. Really, it was cold and it was isolated. <sighs> Symbolic. Symbolism. Symbolism. And I know you should write about that. No. <laughs> Jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Not like a series. Oh, I've got writer's block. Then it's terrible. Oh, it's no. terrible, Amanda. I know. It's terrible. I've been where you've been. Where you are. I've I'm been trying to write a script. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, I know exactly what my problem is. Right, I'm writing a script, like one episode, the first episode, the pilot episode of a sitcom, and I'm thinking, I need to know what's happening. Like, it ends, you don't. Ten series down the line. No, you don't. I've got a really all or nothing approach to life. Yeah, that's. I Which know what you mean. Basically, nothing. But you can change it. <laughs> I've got an all or nothing it approach. Also, it's your Amanda. first draft. All or nothing. But why do you think I'm choosing? Nothing. <laughs> Always nothing. It's always nothing. With I you. know that that is like. Are you at all or nothing in terms of what though? Like your house is a mess. Are you cleaning the house to fuck, or are you just like, all right, I'll have a day and then I'll do this. Depends what day. Normally all, but if I'm like right, I don't actually have time to do this today. I'll prioritize things that I want done to keep me sane. Right, but I'd say mostly I'm an all or nothing. It all gets done at once. I'm all or nothing. When it comes to it's cleaning. a really bad way to be because 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 i'm i'm all or nothing but i'm lazy so it's nothing it's, nothing, it's never nothing, all nothing and then like occasionally it's all it's all but you hate every minute yeah Aye. i need to, i need to fucking or this extra crunchy today oh, fantastic yes, sorry that you just have to hear amanda's crunchy wrist and her drinking a coffee and me snorting <laughs> it's not so sorry about that but it's been their own this week to be honest it's the Easter holidays I spent a lot of time binging murder stuff that's what you done last week I know it's how I get my kicks <laughs> <laughs> oh I watched something really good the Alan Carr thing Alan Carr's sitcom which totally passed me by when it was out what's it called again it's called Changing Ends right. and I actually don't know what that means Changing ends. Aye, I've never heard that before. What's no. it called? Changing ends. I don't know. Mate. I've never watched it. Anyway, it's honestly the best sitcom I've watched for a long time. I thought it was fucking brilliant. I loved it. I thought it was faultless. How I'm many close. episodes is Alan Carr? It's only got one series, but there's a new series. Was it six episodes? It's like I. It's so weird because it's. This sounds like it wouldn't work, but it actually does. It's a young, it's like played, it's him when he's a wee boy growing up, right? Right. So it's someday playing him, a wee boy. Is I can't mind it, no? Well, I can't mind the wee boy's name, right? Alan. No, like the actual wee boy's 
He's brilliant. Is he? He's fucking brilliant. Oh, that sounds good. So, so good, right? And then occasionally... I love a great child actor. I know, because it's very rare. I don't like child actors. I mean, I don't think MD really does. Uh, but this wee boy, he's fucking brilliant. Like, honestly, and I've all oh, the sporting cast and all that, they're all funny, they're all good. There's no one weak link right. in the whole thing. The acting is amazing. Um, and the writing and all that is really good. Alan Carr pops in and out right. as himself to kind of narrate it. Oh, okay. Which I would, if I'd have heard that, I'd have been like, oh no, that's, that's, that's shite. shite. But it pure works. Okay, I'm going to watch it tonight. Do I really like Alan Carr? I like him and all. I've always liked him. I've always liked He's him He's just all. a funny... Aye. Do you know, like, I think I like him more than... Like, I've, I watched him with... What's her name? Oh, that's one Britain's got Amanda talent. Amanda Holden. Holden. They done up, like, an old place in Portugal or something. Like, they had to, like, do up this house. Uh, and I'm watching the interior design thing that he's doing the new as well. Just think he's, all his programmes are pure good. I like him, I do like him. I'm going to watch that the night. It's the old farm game, so Stephen's out. He'll be drunk. Honestly. I love some peace and quiet. See, so if you don't like up. it, I'm going to be... It's actually going to hurt my feelings if you don't like oh, it. Shut up. Do you ever like something so much that... Aye. If somebody doesn't like it, it hurts your feelings. Aye. I'm just like, aye, Taylor Swift. Aye. No, I don't really care. If I think that's your loss, if you don't like her. <laughs> Look at the pure. That's... I don't care. A shame for you, I really don't care. Her new album's out soon. She got another fucking album out? The 19th. She wants to come down a it's, wee bit. Uh, it's 80 days till I see her live. Okay. No, it's 62 days. Sometimes I think, like, stop... Just calm down a wee bit. You don't need to bring an album out every five minutes. You do if you're as talented and as amazing as she is. How does she do it? I can't even write a pilot script. (laughs) She's an actual genius. Uh, Have you listened to the new Beyonce album? Have I? And you liked it? I liked it. Mm -hmm. Aye. Some bits in it, I was like, wow. 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 I liked it. I like country music, so... I don't like country music. Oh, do But it's not a country album it's a Beyonce album that's what she says well she's just saying that isn't she I mean (laughs) it was good and I love Beyonce I've only I've only listened through it once I put it on the other last Saturday was it no last Sunday before I came to your show oh night I listened to it all while I was pottering about the house and getting ready and stuff I listened to it whilst I was cleaning my house Um. I enjoyed it. I got in the bath. I just put it on when I was in the bath. I was I'll like, tell you, I'll tell you, I love Beyonce so much, but she doesn't write her, she doesn't really write her music. Yeah. So you've got to hand it to Taylor. She writes got all her music. She's so, she's so good. Aye. Beyonce's got, she collaborates with a lot of people, which is good. And that's good. But I did, there was somebody on like YouTube saying she doesn't pay her writers and all this shit. And I was like, come on, fuck Beyonce. Yeah. Like, you're a fucking billionaire. She's not a billionaire. Jay-Z's a billionaire. Well, combined. Aye. 62 days. And she'll be right there in front of me. You I thought it was eight days. Aye, I miscalculated it. It's nine week, it was nine weeks yesterday I calculated it. So that's seven nines or 63, so 62. I was doing nine nines or 81. I take just, one's 80. The thing about it is, right, here's the thing. As much as Beyonce, she might be bumping her writers and collaborating with people so she's not really like writing her stuff but it's better no as let's just agree to disagree taylor's just shut the fuck up <laughs> <laughs> she's just a wee bit bland or something very bland about her no i just think you know ta- do you know what i've been greeting a lot do you know, what? <laughs> <laughs> do you know why because i'm weaning off my antidepressants right why are you doing that and this is what i do i wean off them every spring and then I go back on them in the winter. Amanda, I just like to feel stay on them. No, I can't. Because I, I can't greet when I'm on them. You need a good greet. Oh, no, you okay. And I feel like since I I've feel been, like you do greet on them, though. No, 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 no enough. <laughs> <laughs> no enough. No enough. Oh, no. No, I don't. I maybe greet, but I don't feel like, you know, the satisfaction you get for a good greet. Aye. When you just need a good greet. When you're on antidepressants, I feel like it's just a bit like. It numbs your. 
feelings. I really does. Right. And I like to feel. So look forward to Amanda being an emotional fucking wreck. Aye. Are you going to be off antidepressants at the Taylor Swift concert? And at the Fringe. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not fair on me. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. You're going to really get to know me. I already had one uh, comedy collaborator and friend have a psychotic break. <laughs> well, <laughs> really? I'm well, really you know what to expect then. No, I don't. No, I'm... Um, I'm talking about Rachel Jackson here. And by the way, she's very open about her psychotic about break. It. She's writing a show about it, actually. Uh, Amanda, I can't have another person in the loony bin. Come on. I'm not going to the loony bin. Okay. Touch wood. It's not a big... Fucking fear of mine. <laughs> I just want to feel feelings. You should pure grudges me feeling my feelings. Go on a day after the fringe. Feeling joy. I can't. Can you feel your feelings I can't. The I don't want to feel my feelings in the winter. I want to feel my feelings in summer when the sun's out and <laughs> <laughs> it's light all day. By the way, I have to say, uh, I feel a responsibility to say, don't do this. Amanda's half a nut. Don't do this if you're on medication. Don't come off it for a spring. This is my spring break. <laughs> spring break. I come off it for six months. I go on it. It's like a seasonal depression. All right. Okay. Aff, fair, fair enough. You know your Aff, brain. Own. I don't think a day, but uh, no, I think I. This is what a day. So how are you feeling the now? Feeling good. I'm feeling alive. <laughs> I'm feeling alive. I'm feeling my period's due tomorrow, so actually oh I'm God. feeling a bit sore and annoyed. Jesus. But I feel good about it. I feel yeah. I've got an appointment. Never mind. I'm not going to get into this. I'll update appointment you after my what? appointment. Your head? No. Or your Fijiji? My Fijiji. <laughs> what is it? Oh, because you're... Are we allowed to talk about this? What? That you want to have a baby? Aye, if you want. All right. <laughs> Some people would like say... To. Aye, I would like to have an old Amanda baby. wants to have a wane. Aye. Right? The, my, Amanda and Stephen are planning on having another wane. Amanda's delaying it because she doesn't want to be pregnant at the Taylor Swift concert. <laughs> Which is fair. Which is insane. No. And kind of fair and all. I want to just have the best time. I don't want to be worrying about like... Having to pee. Having to pee, feeling nauseous, feeling a wee bit even off. <gasps> Amanda. What? What if like you get the flu or something? Susan. <laughs> please. I'll start greeting right now. <laughs> <laughs> don't. I'm, I can't tell you how worried I am that a circumstance would come up where I'm not at that concert. Because <laughs> I'm there. I'm there no matter what. You could honestly die. And I'd still uh, go. Do you know what? You've got my blessing. Thanks. Touch if me. I die, you go to that no, concert. No, it's fine. I'm yeah. being serious. I'm, I'm going anyway. I know. <laughs> you could be it. like, if you go out haunting you, and I'm like, cool, see you there. <laughs> see you when you're going to host the Taylor Swift concert. I'm going to push her off the stage. You would like that. I if she lands on me oh. <laughs> That sounded quite creepy actually But it was Is she still going over that big Travis case? No. Do you think that one's going to work out? I hope so Do you think it is though? Do you? Nothing lasts forever I FaceTimed some other day <laughs> I'm just thinking about mine Did you? Dating life I, uh, did, I told you about this You never no? told me you FaceTimed them. Did I not tell you about this? No Oh my god uh, The pharmacist You never told me you FaceTimed them Mm-hmm. You just said it was uh, cute. <laughs> I was like, Amanda, I'm talking to this guy. I've spoke to him before. It's like he's a pharmacist. It's so boring. I'm like, oh, I'm boring. Uh, so we FaceTimed because this is my new thing. A wee FaceTime or something before a date, just to make sure. That's a good way to just be like. That's how I found out the last up. guy was racist. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> You never, you never specified why. I know. He's racist. A, <laughs> I don't think he was racist, but no, he was but very... He, he was flinging words about that he shouldn't have been flinging about. Exactly. For somebody who's no racist. Right. So that, we never, re- that ended. Anyway, um, anyway, talking to the pharmacist who I thought was going to be boring. Sorry, pharmacist out there. And he was pure lovely. And I'll tell you something else, never right? Never judge a pharmacist. <laughs> By either. By the boring demeanour. <laughs> <laughs> and his photos that he's got on his profile, it looks quite too serious for me. Aye. Right? And What do you mean he looks too serious? I don't know. There's no like pure... Is he like this? 
There's a few where he's just no smiling or that, and I'm just like, smile. He must think he looks better, no smiling. He does, right? But I'll tell you something. Must be like. When I got on a FaceTime with him, very smiley, and looks better smiling. Most people do look better smiling. Mm, I don't know. Right, so this is what I was thinking, like, I was pleasantly surprised because I was like, oh, he's actually one of the people when he moves his face about, it looks better. Whereas I'm one of the people that when I move my face about, I look worse. So he I must have been I, disappointed. I think I'm like that. I'm like, I can look good in a 40. But then as soon as I start like... Animating. I living. Like, I look f- like, worse. No, I don't think you do. I do. Oh, I do. I do. I do. I've watched videos of myself doing stand up, Amanda. I know <sighs> my face. I know. All my videos are stand up, I look yes. Aye. The, the double chin. This podcast mm. is about. Spell it out. here, I can be like. I'm sure Ashling is it Ashling B? She's got a joke about that, how a woman is like, you're so pretty, but when you start talking, like. You look ridiculous. You look ridiculous. Aye, and it's true. Like I, got, I saw a guy Paul and he said, ah, you're a good looking lassie till you open your booth. <laughs> Does he mean like he doesn't like your sass? No, nah, he just means my, your my voice and my, my, just everything else about me. <laughs> he was a gay man. Well, that's all right. He's allowed to comment then. He was my friend. It's not anymore. But was. Oh, no, you're uh, a good looking lassie. Uh-huh. Oh, so stupid. Um, Amanda, you've had a lot of fun Zoot with people. Have I? I feel like I. I feel like we've discussed a few people. You feel like we, we were pals for years, worked together. He's a wee bit older in his 40s. He didn't like Stephen. Right. Me and Stephen started seeing each other. Somebody who had as a, had been found guilty of assaulting me. <gasps> he went to this guy and basically called Stephen a name. I was like, why are you calling about Stephen like that when that's, this guy is an asshole? Actually yeah. assaulted me. Aye. What are you? And so I took the huff and deleted him on Facebook. <laughs> I mean, I think that's fair. I think it's I, fair. I'm sorry I made you tell this story because I thought it was going to be like a fun. Then he blocked me, right? And then I thought, oh, this is so stupid, right? So then I just texted him saying, hey, look, I took the huff because you, why were you, why did you do that? Because that's no cool. Mm. Um, let's meet up or whatever and he never ever got back to me I don't get people like that Are you? do you hold grudges? nah neither do I nah I, d- I can't hold a grudge I've got the energy he obviously does um, I don't I was just like this is daft we've been pals for years I know like MD that wrongs me as long as they as long as it's not in it and like pure aye. but if it's just something if they could say sorry I'm like right alright Aye, so I was just, just a bit annoyed it. about that and so I was like <laughs> <laughs> and then but then I reached out and was like look this is daft and, and then he, he didn't get back I just don't get that no, we had a mutual friend and she was like you better text her back and he was like I don't get that you know his loss I know your loss I know you'll never watch this but <laughs> your loss but also miss you <laughs> <laughs> right so on that note on that on that note, sad on that sad note, note uh, aye, just come to Everton, come to the show. Come at to the stand. Come to Everton. Come, come to the show next, at the stand come in to April. Next show. Aye. Uh, we'll announce the lineup and buy tickets for the fringe. Yeah. Give this podcast five stars. We never ask people to do things know, like that. Aye. Recommend us. Recommend Share us. us. Word of mouth. Talk about how much you love or hate us. Doesn't matter. Aye. <laughs> Get a bit of discussion going. Stop. Start a rumour about us. No, I don't. <laughs> anyway, right. Love yous. Okay. Bye. Sorry, I just put a rifty down to the mic. I'm going to punch you. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.